Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and today we will have the fourth installment of Spira on Foods. And the first three videos were about my favorite fruits. Now I want to talk about some of my favorite vegetables. And my primary vegetable meal consists of some type of combination salad that combines various things with the goal of being a mucus intestinal broom. So one of my favorite items that at this point is the main staple of almost any of my combination salads are spinach. So now I'm into raw spinach. When I first got into the diet, I might have spent a little bit of time having some spinach out of a can. And even in the mucus's diet book, Arnold Eric will explain that sometimes, in some cases, depending on where you live and uh, and that kind of thing if you can't get fresh spinach then have some that's been canned but overall when you're talking about the salad you always want to have some raw vegetables in there if not have the entire thing really should be raw is where you want to be at so I will put spinach as the foundation of my combination salad if I'm doing a making a green drink I will also have a lot of spinach uh, in a green drink that I make. But yeah, spinach is a very soft leaf. It eliminates very well. I will also add spinach to my raw dressings. If I make some blend up some kind of dressing, a lot of it will be spinach, maybe a little spinach, some cucumber, a little bit of olive oil maybe a little bit of kelp powder uh, and I'll add and subtract some other items but uh, some dill and parsley is kind of the aromatic herbs that will be in there then another uh, spinach can also be lightly steamed if you need some steamed vegetables if you're that's where you are and you're in that mode uh, you can lightly steam some spinach season it a little bit and it will taste great you can steam some spinach and even put it on top of a raw combination salad that might consist of spinach and some other things so that is spinach green leaf lettuce is my second staple so I will combine spinach and green leaf lettuce as the foundation of almost all of my combination salads. And green leaf is just a nice, soft, leafy lettuce. And it's tasty. It's a little bit, I would say it's sweeter. I don't know if some people don't necessarily tag it as you as your taste buds get more refined you can start to taste the sweetness in vegetables a lot more and the better quality vegetables will have a really a sweeter taste to it red leaf lettuce is also very good I like the crinkly the best there's a couple different kinds of red leaf lettuce, some that are more crinkly and others are a little bit more thick, but I definitely have had periods where I really got into the red leaf lettuce real heavy and it's just, it's a softer leaf and it's, as you get deeper into the diet, you tend to be attracted to the softer leaves. So the red leaf lettuce, Boston lettuce. These are all you know, very soft, soft lettuce. And bib is the same as 
Boston. Romaine lettuce. I don't eat as much romaine lettuce now, but at the beginning of the diet, I ate a lot of romaine lettuce. It's a much thicker leaf, so it's going to be a bit heavier. So when I first got into the diet, I had 32 feet of impacted intestines with a great deal of uneliminated fecal matter. And the romaine lettuce salads were better for that type of situation. So if you have a lot of waste going on, then romaine is will become a good mucus broom. But as you get more refined in terms of your transition and your diet, the softer leaves are probably the direction that you want to go. Now, I do not eat iceberg lettuce at all. I quit eating iceberg lettuce probably the first year of my transition. It's the cheapest lettuce. For me, it just it's just not all that tasty. But with that said, if you like it and you're eating your lettuce, go go for it. Eat it, eat, it, eat it all up but for me it's just not the tastiest thing in the world and of course that's people's frame of reference oftentimes when we talk about salad because most places if it's restaurants or wherever will sell iceberg lettuce because it's the cheapest lettuce or iceberg salads so but yeah not really what I'm into at the anymore. How about some celery? Love celery. Love to just chop it up and put it as the next layer on my raw combination salad. It combines well with the leaves to create a great mucus broom in your intestines. Celery is also wonderful to juice and to combine with your spinach, cucumber, to make a great green drink. Carrots are probably the first thing I will name that's optional in that I would consider to be optional in my combination salad. The foundation is spinach, romaine lettuce, and then celery is almost mandatory for me. Then carrot is something if I have it, sometimes I'll buy a big bulk thing of carrots. They sell organic carrots in these huge bags for a reasonable price and so I'll just bulk up on uh, carrots and but sometimes I don't really use them enough because I will juice and add them to green drinks to make them more of an orange <laughs> orange colored drink but uh, vegetable drink juice but they are they're not great detoxifiers. Some people used to use carrot juice as like a detoxifier. You really want to be in the fruit realm when you're talking about real serious detoxification. But as a mucus broom, in combination with a, a salad, a combination salad, then the carrots can be quite effective. And they're kind of sweet, tasty if you have good quality carrots. Beets are something, I don't eat them in my combination salads too often anymore. I did go through a beet period where I ate a lot of beets, but P 
periodically I will juice beets. So if I get in the mood, I will juice beets, add them to a green drink, and they make a nice, uh, just a nice juice that is uh, fairly cleansing. Cucumber is wonderful. Now with cucumbers, you want to try to get organic cucumbers or if you have to get regular cucumbers then it's advised that you skin them because ones like this oftentimes will have wax all on top and you can even see it when you buy it from the store you put your hand on it and your fingers get sticky because the whole outside of it is filled with wax but so I if that's what I have to get and I can't find organic ones but I want cucumbers then I will take a, a potato peeler and take the, all the skin off and then either if I put it in the salad or if I juice it whatever I'm doing but cucumbers uh, you know they, they're very nice in a green drink and I probably use them more for green drinks than even in adding them to the salad these days. Tomatoes are great. Some people advise staying away from tomatoes because they are kind of acidic, but I find that they eliminate well uh, if you have ripe tomatoes, I do gravitate toward orange tomatoes, orange and yellow. I think they're a bit less acidic. And I'll just cut them up and put them on top of the combination salad. And, and that's pretty tasty, like the ones on the on a vine. So I think I will end this installment here. Thank you for listening and I will talk with you real soon. Peace, love, and breath. Let's just clap your hand to the beat. Feel the rhythm and the melody. The breath in your eyes. Oh, starting to get some energy in here now. You know what that means. That means that we can try to call upon the children of the sun to see if they will grace us with their presence.